Here's a fun uh, afternoon project. It's a little hopping kangaroo. Please see the link below for the pattern to make this cute little hopping kangaroo. Make a wider track with several lanes, make up a few of these and you can have a race. Here's the pattern for the kangaroo. Now I can't take credit for this. The credit goes to uh, Wombat Morrison. Uh, you can find her on YouTube. And the pattern comes from uh, Instructables. She has an Instructable on there how to make the uh, hopping kangaroo. So here's the pattern. Now what I'm going to do is use uh, 3 uh, eighths plywood for the body and then I'll use quarter inch plywood for the uh, legs. And I'll get this uh, cut out and glued onto the tape and then we'll uh, cut it out uh, with the bandsaw. I've got the pattern glued on to the uh, 3 8 plywood and what I did for the leg was I glued the pattern on the tape on one piece of uh, plywood and I put a piece of tape on the back of this and on the front of the other one and then I glued the two together. That way uh, you can just peel the tape apart. And uh, now we'll head over to the bandsaw and we'll uh, cut these out. Okay, next thing we'll do, in the bottom of the legs here, we'll drill an eighth inch hole. We'll drill a quarter inch hole in the top of the legs. 
We'll drill an eight inch hole here for the eye. And we'll drill a little bigger than a, a quarter of an inch uh, here in the middle of the body so that the uh, dowel can rotate freely. Next we can uh, remove the uh, patterns and those are three pieces. Now we just need to cut a length of a quarter inch dowel to connect the legs together and there will be an eighth inch dowel on the bottom here. Now you notice that the uh, eighth inch dowel will be stopped by these two little bumps here on the bottom. That's what limits the travel of the, of the feet. Okay, I've got it uh, sanded up and we're ready for assembly. Now to assemble it, we just take a quarter inch doll, put it through one leg, take the other leg, and press it in. And get them as even as you can. Next step is to take an eighth inch dowel and insert it through the uh, bottom of the legs. And uh, that's it as far as assembly. Now to test it, we'll get a board. And we'll put some uh, spacers underneath it to get an angle. You want, uh, let me turn this around. We want about a seven degree angle or a uh, eight to one uh, pitch. And we'll uh, set them up here and give it a go. Okay. It doesn't want to hop there a little bit. There it goes. Now adjust your board until you can get it to hop. That might be a little steep. Now, if it wants to nose over on you, then uh, the nose is too heavy or the angle's too steep. If it doesn't want to hop, then you don't have the right angle. You want it so it just balances when the legs are towards the rear.
you can see that the the tail is slightly heavy now I've made up a little track here just for testing just a board with a couple of thin rails on the side here and a couple clamps that way I can adjust uh, this clamp here and and set the height so we'll put the uh, kangaroo up here and uh, give it a go Thank you. I hope you like it. And please uh, click the uh, like button and the subscribe button if you want to see more woodworking videos. Thank you.